What's happening everyone? Art at Patience Metal Fab and I'm out in our parking lot today about to introduce a new build series to you. Now, I'm going to flash back to some footage of about a month ago when we had two truck chassis delivered right here. Andrew unloaded those and they've kind of been stashed in the back of our parking lot just collecting rust. But I see Gary and James from NextRev over there just discussing the project and coming up with a game plan of where we go next. Now, I don't know much about it, but I know that Gary's really excited about this particular one, which usually means there's some great content coming our way. So once they're done talking, I'm gonna get with him and he can give us the full breakdown of what we've got planned for this. Gary, I got a question for you. We've got a shop full of six figure builds and you've been wasting half the day on this rusty Chevy chassis. What's the deal here? You going crazy? These are just near and dear to my heart. That's all, you know. You got a soft spot for uh, shards of rust. So this is actually a project with a local company. K5 Squared is the name of them. They take this generation of chassis, which GM called the GST 900 and they basically put K5 Blazers on them. They have been retrofitting these chassis to work under them, but they've had a lot of issues. A, look at them, right? Getting these things clean, they come like this. They're rusty, they have to blast them, they have to deal with bad parts, they can replace a bunch of parts on them. Um, so what they did is they've actually come to us and they're looking to have us design and engineer a production chassis for them for this retrofit that utilizes this suspension front and rear which is the only one on the market we scan the whole chassis first this one and the k5 chassis um, we'll get with james uh, some hardcore uh, engineering hours will go in this week to design it and then we'll get on the dragon and we'll cut some two by six and uh, make a prototype and then from there we'll work on fixture stuff and kind of get this ball rolling and what's particularly exciting about this and why we decided to turn it into a series rather than a single video or just a short Instagram post is because we're going to be showing off a ton of capabilities through our shop, through K5, the other shop, through our engineering team. So it's going to be really fun to see and showcase exactly what we can do around here. And then eventually we'll have an end result for all of this.
Gary, it is absolutely crazy how much progress you guys made on this frame. I was filming, what, two days ago on you guys cutting pieces of metal on our Dragon, and now it looks like a complete chassis. That's a huge testament to James over at NextRev and the engineering those guys do. I mean, to be able to go from the little magic box to reality and actually have 99% of it go together the way this did, I mean, we couldn't really ask for anything more. Yeah, and it looks fantastic, especially for a first run. There's obviously little things that need to be tweaked and changed, but I'll give you guys an in-depth look on this. What I wanna do is walk over to a car that just got delivered to us, which is this K5 Blazer. This is actually gonna be the body that's going on that first frame. And then eventually, this is what it could become. This is the owner of K5's actual Blazer. This thing is gorgeous. And Gary, this is on just an original like Tahoe frame. What's underneath? Oh, uh, yeah, so this was kind of their first go around with the conversions where this was that uh, GMT 900 chassis, which is that 2008 to 14, somewhere in that range. Uh, Silverado or uh, Tahoe Escalade Yukon um, chassis. And so they would, narrow them and redo the mounts and you know kind of make it work and it was a good concept uh, but really obviously they came to us because they want to be able to really make this you know that next level of project and not rely on that oem chassis underneath there and so what's the benefit instead of getting a tahoe chassis like this is on just going straight to something like this why are we even creating this well for them the biggest thing is a if they're going to build these and sell them they have to source the chassis, they have to make sure it's straight, then they have to do a bunch of modifications to it. By the time you get all said and done, cost-wise for them, it almost makes more sense, well, it does make more sense for them to just have somebody manufacture a chassis like this. Because this way, it comes to them, it's powder-coated, it's ready to go. All they gotta do is put the body on it and move forward with the conversion. One of the big things we actually did with these is we actually did a two-inch and a four-inch lift built right into the chassis itself. So this chassis will keep the suspension geometry at the OEM angles at both a two inch and a four inch ride height instead of having to have lift arms and severe angles that cause these things to do all sorts of funny stuff. This one will keep that geometry correct and make this thing actually handle and ride the way it did with an Escalade body on it, except for now you got a K5 body and you can be four inches of lift. So the engineering behind it was developed in a way that we can extend it and shorten it and vary the body mounts. If you see behind me over there, there's actually a uh, 71 up on the uh, lift. That's the prior generation. And that is um, the first one that we're gonna test this application on after making sure the K5 fits on it and everything works. This is all really exciting stuff. And if you guys aren't getting the gist, that plus that equals this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that first episode. In the next one, we're gonna be finishing up that prototype frame, putting an engine and trans on it, and then transporting it over to K5. Do a little tour of the shop, and then eventually they're gonna be putting full suspension and maybe even the body of the project on that car. So a lot of exciting stuff to come. If you guys are enjoying it so far, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the page, stay tuned for more content.